Hi, thanks for joining another video today. Not too long ago, we did a full review of the Lucid Air Grand Touring. Since then, one of my viewers reached out allowing me to review their limited production Air Dream Edition. Thank you to them for this opportunity. If any of you have an EV I can review, let me know at info at In this video, we will be retesting its charging rate, doing a few more of those acceleration sprints, and going over some of the differences that make the Dream Edition special. Here is the Lucid Air Dream Edition, which is Lucid's introduction vehicle and marks the beginning of the Air models. This is the 436 car Lucid has produced. The other trims are the Air Grand Touring, Air Touring, and Air Pure. The Dream Edition started at $169,900 and reservations are closed. With this limited production vehicle, you receive some special features. One of those is having the option to choose the color Eureka Gold. This vehicle, however, is painted in infinite black, which looks very sleek. In our previous GT review, we had a wrap vehicle, which looked pretty good. However, I didn't get the chance to see the platinum finish at the top. Here you can see the finish all along the top, sides, and bottom of the vehicle. Quick side note, Lucid recently announced a new stealth look option. This is an optional exterior design that removes the platinum finish and offers new wheel designs. This includes the 21-inch Aero Sport Stealth Wheels and the 20-inch Aero Light Stealth Wheels. This is expected to be priced at $6,000 and will be introduced in quarter one of 2023. All right, back to the Dream Edition. You'll be able to tell this is a Dream Edition with the different badging around the car. The first one is here on the trunk. It's here on the bottom, we have Dream Edition and the P for Performance. And then here on the C pillar, we have Dream Edition written there. And then lastly, on the scuff plate, we have Dream Edition and also the number of the vehicle. You also have the option of choosing the 21-inch Aero Dream wheels, which you can see here. The Dream Edition had the choice of getting the Performance or Range variant. With the Performance variant and the 21-inch wheels, it has a range of up to 451 miles, while with the 19-inch wheels, you could get up to 471 miles. This EV has some powerful specs. The performance configuration delivers 1,111 horsepower and can do zero to 60 in 2.5 seconds. If you opt for the range variant and delivers 933 horsepower and can get up to 520 miles of range with the 19 inch wheels or 481 miles with the 21 inch wheels. The range model can reach zero to 60 in 2.7 seconds, so it's still very quick. The one we have today is a performance, so we will have some more fun with that in a little bit. The Dream Performance gets an EPA rating of 111 miles per gallon equivalent with the 21 inch wheels and goes up to 125 miles per gallon depending on your motor and wheel choices. These numbers are pretty good and on par or better than some of its competitors. If we look at the Tesla Model S, the efficiencies range from 101 miles per gallon equivalent to 120 miles per gallon equivalent. On the Mercedes Benz, we see 95 miles per gallon equivalent for the 580 and 97 on the 450 plus trim. The Dream Edition also has the exclusive Santa Monica interior with Napa full grain leather, natural wood trim, and Alcantara inserts as described by Lucid. I really enjoy the color scheme of the interior. It's a great balance. Fun fact, the latitude and longitude that are printed here directs you to a specific spot in Santa Monica where the interior colors in here are inspired by that area. This interior layout didn't change much from what we saw recently in the GT. It has the same screens, features, and feel to it. There will be another variant of the Air called Pure Edition, which will have some different interior features like a lowered floor and some additional comfort features for rear passengers. I don't want to sound too repetitive since I recently just did a Lucid GT video, but there are so many details of this vehicle's build, battery, and performance that you can check out on my previous video. However, just like Lucid Space Concept, here's a miniaturized version of that information. No? I was proud of that analogy. The Lucid Air Dream Edition is a dual motor, all wheel drive vehicle and has a top speed of 168 miles per hour. The high voltage battery in this car has a capacity of 118 kilowatt hours and features a 900 volt architecture and an end cooled design. Its charging capability is quite impressive with a max AC charging rate of 19.2 kilowatts and a DC fast charging rate of up to 300 kilowatts. 
In the previous video, we were able to see that the car is actually capable of more than 300 kilowatts though. Very impressive rate of charge. Let's not forget about its space. It has a powered front that you can open with the key fob. It's a very large trunk, and it also has a nice size trunk in the back too. All of this, and there's still ample room in the interior for your family. The soft closed doors are also neat. It's a nice feature. The air delivers a sporty and comfortable drive. It isn't harsh. It has three driving modes plus one pedal driving to make the experience even better. I also appreciate that Lucid did not add any fake engine sounds when pressing down on the accelerator. In this car, you get Dream Drive Pro included and all the vehicles get over-the-air updates. Having the capability to have over-the-air updates is always good since a vehicle can easily receive fixes and improvements without having to visit a service center or dealership. In July, the Lucid Air received some major updates with 1.2.6 and 1.2.7. What does that even mean? Well, these updates came with some improvements such as opening the trunk with the key fob, traffic sign recognition, updates on the navigation app and map, and better range estimates. Many are still waiting for that Apple CarPlay feature, which some are speculating will be an update sometime later this year. In our previous GT video, we plugged into a 350 kilowatt Electrify America charger with 11%. We were able to get up to 314 kilowatts at peak, but it wasn't for very long. Not sure what happened there, it might have been the charging station or the vehicle, so I wanted to retest. I'm at a different Electrify America with a different Lucid, so let's see how it performs. We were off to a bad start. Not surprising, the only two 350 kilowatt chargers were not working. There is also only one Electrify America charging station in the city, so I plugged into one of the 150 kilowatt chargers. I plugged in a little higher this time, at 26%. I switched out cameras here very quickly. So unfortunately, it's so hot outside that my phone has been overheating and it stopped recording. So I usually just stand outside, have my phone recording and gather the data points. Um, but now I'm just taking pictures from inside of the car, trying to get every percentage and every um, time it changes kilowatts. So we'll see how this one turns out. And done. We stopped the charge at 80%. Okay, I've had some time to review the data, make a few graphs and make some observations. There are a few things to note with these graphs. Number one is that Electrify America was having issues at this station. Both of the 350 kilowatt chargers were out of commission. This is a real shame because I had actually checked out these chargers a few weeks prior and reported one of the 350s as being offline. Needless to say, the other had broken in the meantime and they didn't go out to fix the other charger. Very disappointing. So for our second test, we used a 150 kilowatt charger. Seemed like these 150s are actually 175 kilowatts. One other item is that we arrived with 26% instead of 11% like in our original test. Nevertheless, the data still gives us some good information. First is our charging rate by state of charge graph. Every EV has its own charging curve. There are many factors that play into how the curve is shaped, but one of the biggest factors is state of charge. Looking at the graph, you can see that the Grand Touring started higher and at a lower charge and lasted for quite a while until hitting a cliff. The Dream Edition does something similar. It holds on to its charging rate for a while and then hits a cliff and the charging rate reduces. The 175 kilowatt rate is able to sustain its charging rate to a higher state of charge than the 350. Both cars finish charging at 80%. Our second graph paints a different picture. This one is about charging rate over time. Here you can see that at almost the exact same time, the car starts to dramatically slow down their charging rate. The Grand Touring was able to finish the charging session faster due to the faster rate early on in the test. In total, it took us 58 minutes to go from 26 to 80%. Based off of this information, and I'm only theorizing because I don't know why this is occurring, but I believe this slowed rate is an issue with the way the batteries are cooled. In the Grand Touring video, I had talked about how Lucid is using an end cool design rather than using woven cooling pipes. It almost seems like the Lucid can't compete with the heat in Arizona. 
Again, just thoughts. I'm curious to know what other charging rates Lucid owners have seen with their vehicles. Lucid has made a compelling car and now we have seen both the Air Dream Edition and the Grand Touring. For those that missed out on the Dream Edition and are interested in the higher end EV sedans, the GJ Performance is now available which has 1,050 horsepower and accelerates from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 2.6 seconds. The GG Performance starts at $179,900. I look forward to the continuous improvements and updates the vehicle will receive and what the future will bring. Thanks for spending time with me today. Make sure to subscribe for more EV content and follow me on social media at Kai's EV and Kai's Tesla. Kai is my dog. And check out my website for more EV resources at kaizev.com. That's all for now and happy charging.